Hi everyone, welcome back to Bill Toon Race. So with only about four and a half days left, we're gonna try to get the Jag running. Yeah. So it's been sitting idle for about eight months and we ordered some parts and we got a bunch of stuff to do in no time. So you can yeah. do burnouts. Yep, so uh, we're gonna be bleeding the brakes thanks to Holly. We have a nitrous kit. We Dang. have a plate that we're gonna be putting on. We gotta put the seats in. We got seat belts. We got a lot of stuff to do. And some really ridiculous headers. So yeah, oh yeah, headers. Ordered up this handy dandy plastic seat. If we're able to sit in, we'll have to build some mounts real quick and all that stuff. We do need to finish mounting the fuel cell, which is where we left off. And put some water in the radiator because it almost overheated on us last time we were running. So <laughs> should we throw some water in it, see if it'll even crank? Well, I put since some antifreeze. Sitting? I put some antifreeze in it the last time we were here, but we probably should put more. Yeah, definitely get some more fluid in there. Do you so, want me to try to crank it in? Well, we'll get some fluid in it and then we'll hook the battery back up and then we'll try to crank it and see if after eight months this whole small block Chevy fires right back up. If not, we might be back to where we were before we started running this thing. Is it gonna run? Is it gonna do a burnout, Alex? Is as long as I can help it. Right. All right, so we're starting to get some fuel in that thing. April's gonna sketchily do that while Alex does that. Keep it going. As it starts to run, you gotta okay. keep it. Shh, 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 shh. I hate having to reset this key all the way back oh, yeah. every time. It runs. It actually doesn't take much yeah, yeah, for yeah, eight yeah. months. Shoot. Yeah, I know. This thing uh, rips. No gas. Yeah, it's all good. It is feeding fairly decently. A little bit of throttle. It's trying, so. Yeah. Screw it, that'll work. Now we gotta uh, see what we gotta do to get these things working. And then the back ones, make sure they don't work. Why does it always work out? They're gonna right. work in the same spot. Come take this warm exhaust off my hands. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Scrap it. If he's holding yeah. it, you're all right. <laughs> so well, what we're know, thinking is we're gonna that. cap it right here. Cause this is the rear brake line, front brake line. <clears throat> so if we can just cap it up here and then um, you know, believe the front brakes, we should be in burnout mode. So we got some special headers for the Jag here. <laughs> they are pretty outrageous, but that's what we wanted. The most ridiculous headers that we could get. And I think we achieved that. So these are Flowtech through Holly demo derby headers. So, I mean, what better than to put on a Jaguar than a set of demo derby headers, so. <laughs> Why not? Open these bad boys up. And oh yes. So when I first saw this and we were looking at them, we we're like, well, we could leave them like this. We can cut them off at hood height. We could leave it all the way out. I don't know what we're gonna do, but uh, figure Might it out. Might as well just make it be the most <laughs> ridiculous thing possible. Taller the better. Right. Go for the tallest exhaust award. Yep. <laughs> it's really wow. not that bad. So yeah, we're definitely gonna have to uh, probably remove these braces, which is no big deal. All right, well, that gets us one. Go ahead and grab the other one, and we'll, we can at least pop these off, get the exhaust mounted, and then if we have to remake those bars. So I, I'm really up to whether or not we need those for burnouts. I'm just not fully committed that we have to have them for burnouts. I guess it works. Yeah, we'll try it. It is what it is. We only have a few hours to work on this, and we're trying to get it done. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Time to mock these things up. April ran to the store and got some bolts. Did good, got the right stuff. And um, we bled some brakes and now it's kind of dark, but we ate food, we feel much better. And uh, let's see if these will go on here, huh? Uh -huh. Oh, yep, we're not driving it until I whack a big hole in this thing. Surprisingly, <laughs> knock on Jaguar parts. Um, not like the 
when we were bleeding the brakes, those weren't seized up. And all the header bolts came out pretty, pretty all right. Alex ended up looping the coolant passage around so we don't have stuff going in the car, hot fluid, just trying to keep all April over there safe. What do you think? Um, I think that we are very close to hearing some new sounds. This things look ridiculous. <laughs> so then what I'm planning on doing is cutting a big old loop right here so the hood can sit down over them. Same over here. And yeah, I mean, we're not, we're not crazy far off. The brakes kind of are working, kind of. Kind of, so I mean, in all reality, if we really, really wanted to, other than being dark, and I don't know if this thing, lights work, we could almost put it on the ground and go drive it, but we'll probably have to wait for that till tomorrow. Um, get some daylight and stuff, but we will, maybe we can fire this thing up real quick before we leave, and then uh, drive it, test everything out, make sure it seems decent, and then start to put the nitrous kit on. So we're gonna fire the Jag up now. We're gonna see how it sounds. Let's do this. Ready to rip? Ready to rip. Wake the whole world up. It's nine o'clock at night. <clears throat> yeah, we gotta do a quick start and shut off. This and we one. have a renter now in our unit. Low rider. <laughs> Look at me in the seat. <laughs> this is actually kind of comfortable. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, that is how she rolls around town, but <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so <clears throat> tell me when you're ready. Okay. Okay. Uh, Battery. Ready? You might have to keep it running with the throttle just a little bit. Don't rev it too high, but. Jag with demo derby headers. <laughs> <laughs> Woo -hoo! I mean, for the car sitting for as long as it did, a couple hours today, and got kind of the brakes working, the new yeah, exhaust on. Those freaking smoke oh, yeah. So we thought maybe cutting them off or whatever. Davis says, not leave them. Let's go as tall as possible. Let's leave them. Might as well. Save us less work, and they look great. I don't know about that. I'm going to have to put more work into cutting this hood, but we'll make it work. Uh -huh. It's gonna look ridiculous driving through the pits and stuff though. I do know that much. So we'll get that all cut tomorrow. Try to get her seat mounted and get her first drive in. Back at it next day. Got our exhaust, got to cut a hole out here. So I kind of laid it out and need to still lay out that one. Just took some measurements off of this edge here, this edge there. Hopefully I'm close. And in the name of saving time and trying to build a nice bracket for the seat, what we've decided to do since we don't have time, the thing we bought, a second Jaguar so we could steal seats out of yes, the other one. Yes, we have two seats now to put in the in the other Jag. So what we're going to do is um, pop the seats and seat belts out of this thing and then put it in that one. First cut, not bad. Second cut, real terrible. Once it got in, the uh, inner layer started to release. Second side is lined up. See if I can cut that a little bit better and then uh, fix the rest with the grinder. Other than some of the worst cut job I could have possibly done, let's see. It will shut once we get all the crap in. Yeah, and the bottle needs to All right, let's see what it does. Oh, oh, got a, a little bit of, is it rubbing outside over there? Uh, no? Really. Just outside over here a little bit. I'm way wide there. That don't look very good. But. Rubs a little bit on this outside edge. Go ahead and clean that up a little bit. Maybe just take another little notch out of it or whatever. We're taking a quick break from working on April's Jag and... Burnout vehicles rolling in. Woohoo! All right, so April's actually running around doing a bunch of stuff for the event. So I'm going to actually do the first drive, which is not going to be much one. We actually have fuel coming out of the carb, so I don't know if she'll really be able to do burnouts, but maybe we can just take it out, show it, whatever. But we're going to try to pull this thing out, see if it finally moves under its own power, and hopefully stop. <laughs>
Brake training. Brakes work, thank goodness. Fucker does a burnout. Imagine go. that. Shit. <laughs> How funny. That's hilarious. Well, everybody, the Jag made it to the free car of it, but unfortunately, due to some safety reasons, we did not try to attempt to burn out. The car's clinking and banging. I did not want to take the risk, especially with the fuel going out through the carburetor. Yeah, we have fuel coming out of the carb through the old seals. Something, when we drove the car from here to our new house, it only shifted out of first once and now it like clanks and bangs. I don't know if the converter's loose or something's wrong with the drive shaft or maybe there's like a carrier bearing under there. We haven't looked yet. That'll be in the next video. But otherwise guys, at least the Jag is up and running and soon you'll be doing your first big burnout. Yes, soon enough. Hopefully Hot Rod Rock and Rumble is what we're shooting for, which is in August. Yeah, so hopefully we get it out before that for a burnout, but for sure we want to get this thing really dialed in for the burnout comp at the Hot Rod Rock and Rumble which is a really fun event. If you guys have been following us for a while, you've seen the videos from that thing. And this car, year-wise, just attitude-wise, everything fits that event so perfect. And we're ready to bring a legit burnout car that fits the years and everything to that event. So uh, we're just gonna get put back in the shop. Let's fire it up. Let's see if it fires up. Let's hope it fires up. might pump it just once. It usually doesn't take much of anything. It's been sitting for like a week now. More than. I wonder if it lost fuel prime. Okay, now I'll try it. Hold on. Try some good old priming fluid. Died on us. I wonder if it fouled the plugs because it was pretty rich. Yeah, hold it wide open while you're doing that. We're getting there. Running rougher than rough. I don't think we have brakes anymore either. Come on. Well, at least we got it there. We can push it from here. Brakes definitely don't work anymore. Almost had a, a accident, but we're good. We're good. Yeah, it's in. Yeah, it's pretty sketchy going off the trailer. Yeah, it's sketchy. So, um, 
It's back in here. Old Jagnate's still a whole lot of work. We were hoping for a little better results and being able to do burnouts a little easier than that. But, you know, for having like, I think into just this car, we got like a thousand bucks. So it's actually pretty cheap and we still got quite a bit of work to do. But uh, hey, it got out of the garage. It did this tiny burnout. It's back in the garage and needs some more work. So we'll be back with more on April's Jag. I know you guys have been waiting for this thing. Thanks everyone for watching and wondering how the build's going. We will start working on this as soon as possible uh, with everything else that we have going on. But I'm pretty excited to actually get this thing out and try to do a burnout with it. So hopefully soon enough we'll get this thing actually dialed in to be able to do something like that. Hit the like and subscribe button and we'll see you next time.